It's incredible how many people take to the streets, and that's part of what uh, the NYPD has been wrestling with in order to keep everybody safe. You can see that the bands here have already started to head down Eastern Parkway. This is part of Juve. They have to get screened just a, a little bit behind Grand Army Plaza before they can take to the roads here. And participants who want to hit the parade route also need to get screened. And already the NYPD has confirmed to us a reporting of one gunshot, and there are social media reports reports of another. Juve celebrations in Brooklyn are full of sound, color, and traditional foods. And again this year, ramped up security. Thousands of NYPD officers lining the two-mile-long parade route for the vibrant celebration of Carnival that starts just moments before sunrise. It's part of our culture, and we love it. That's that's just a whole bottom, the whole bottom line. We just love carnival. The West Indian Day Parade follows at 11 a.m., but the Juve Festival that kicks off the day's celebration, expected to draw some 300,000 overnight revelers, is one that has been marred by violence. <laughs> In 2016, a young woman and a teen boy both fatally shot. The year prior, an aide to Governor Cuomo, Kerry Gabe, caught in the crossfire between rival gangs, also died. And last year, half a dozen people were shot or stabbed, but survived their wounds. In every community there, unfortunately, there are some bad apples. Our job is to make sure that they never ruin a celebration for everyone else. The mayor and police announcing tighter security measures again, shorter festival hours to start at 6 a.m. instead of 2, an increase to 13 police checkpoints along the Juve route, no alcohol or weapons allowed, or large bags or backpacks. Back out here live, you can hear the terrific sounds of the drummers uh, here on the parade route getting ready to move along for Juve, which officially starts at 6 a.m. It's that unofficial partying in the streets that cops continue to wrestle with. We have seen video this morning on social media of officers responding to a scene with their guns drawn. Police not able to confirm to us whether or not there were shots fired in that location, but they have confirmed that a man has been shot in the hand this morning in Brooklyn already. Again, still unclear if this is related to or near the Juve celebrations, which don't officially kick off for yet another hour. We're live this morning here at Grand Army Plaza. I'm Kirsten Cole, PIX11 News.